hello friend welcome you all to my channel today i'm going to talk about singlet versus doublet cell discrimination in flow cytometry but before going through this i want to discuss some basic information about the flow cytometry as we all know that when cell crosses through the flow cell it is hit by the laser beam or interact by the laser beam and some amount of the light is scattered in the forward direction and other direction as well and it is detected by the detectors like you can see here forward scatter detector and the side scatter detector and there are many other detectors also installed parallel to the side scatter detector these signals further processed to generate the data so now i am going to discuss some basic information about this the first is forward scatter fsc fsc measures the light scattered in a narrow angle from the direction of the laser beam you can see here the fsc detector and this scattering is primarily influenced by the size of the cell larger cells scattered more light in the forward direction resulting in a higher fsc signal fsc is often used as a basic measures to differentiate cells based on size next side scatter ssc you can see here ssc measures the light scattered at a wider angle from the laser beam typically at around 90 degrees this scattering is influenced by the internal complexity or granularity of the cell ssc is used to differentiate cells based on internal complexity or granularity such as distinguishing between different type of white blood cell these two points referring the same thing and here third voltage and pulse it is very important parameter in the flow cytometry in flow cytometry when a cell passes through the laser beam it generates a pulse or light that is detected by the photo detectors the voltage setting on the flow cytometry determines the sensitivity of these detectors higher voltage increases the detector's sensitivity and the amplitude of the signals while lower voltage decreases it you can see here fsc and ssc and other detectors also here so these are actually photo detectors and they detect the light signals and voltage is very important to increase the sensitivity to detect the light if we increase the voltage sensitivity is high and decrease the voltage sensitivity become lower so it is very important here you can see the pulse shape this is very very important topic and which include parameters like area height and width provide the information about the cell's characteristic the area represents the total amount of light collected the height represents the peak intensity and the width in indicate the time it took for the cell to pass through the beam this is pulse shape and it is composed of width height and the area and width is the time taken to cross through the laser beam and the height is the maximum signal when the cell crosses through this laser beam and when we plot this parameter the area covered under this is known as area and it reflects the total signal captured by detector and here are some other point about it amount of fluorescent signal or scattered light collected as the cell passes through the laser beam it is essentially the sum of signal intensity detected during the entire time the cell is in the laser beam this measurement is useful for quantifying the total amount of a particular marker or property of a cell here i am showing the some basic information about the height the height refers the peak intensity of the signals as the cell crosses the laser beam as i discussed earlier it represents the maximum signal intensity detected at any single point in time as the cell passes through the beam. This is often used to distinguish between the single cells and the cell aggregate as aggregate may show higher peak intensities. Width The width measurements reflect the time it takes for a cell to pass through the laser beam. It is an indirect measurement of the size of the cell or particle as larger cells take longer to pass through the beam. Width is particularly useful for identifying doublets or cell aggregate as these will have a greater width than single cells. Area Width into height Amount of fluorescent signal or scattered light collected as the cell passes through the laser beam. It is essentially the sum of signal intensity detected during the entire time the cell is in the laser beam. This measurement is useful for quantifying the total amount of particular marker or property of a cell. Now I am going to show you singlet and doublet cell in the animation what happens when they passes through the flow cell. In case of single cell you can see here when cell is passing through the flow cell signal is detected by the ssc and fsc and the you can see the plot 
height, width, and area, and the cells plotted F L one versus F L two, and the and the cells that are positive for Y is showing here, and the cells that are positive for X is showing here. So this is in case of uh, when cell is singlet during passing through the flow cell. But what happens if these cell are aggregate? You can see the animation here. Both cell passing through together through the flow cell. You can see the area, height, and the width are change during this time. And cells is showing here double positive. It means cells are not double positive, but due to the aggregate, it showing that these are double positive. So that's why it is very important to remove these doublets from your data analysis. So for this, there are various approaches to remove the doublet cell. So I'm going to show some of them. Now I'm going to show the approaches, how you can remove your doublets from your data analysis. So first approach here, FSC area versus FSC height. If you plot your data, you will get the area scaling and your singlet cell comes near about 45 degree angle. And here I am showing the cells in two conditions, unsteam and in steam condition. And it is very important to consider that when the cells are not stimulated or not activated and the cells that are activated, they will show the different pattern of expression in this FSC height and FSC area like uh, in case of unsteam you can see the cells are showing here but when cells are stimulated you can see cells are moving here so it is very important and it is very subjective according to your experiment and the condition of cells if your cells activated or like uh, increases the cell size during any treatment or any condition like plasma blast cell so they show the different location in the plot so you have to consider this like they are not the doublet but they have the difference in this their size that's why they are showing the different pattern from unstimulated cells so it is very subjective according to your experiment so keep this in the consideration during the doublet cell discrimination but you can use fsc area versus height area versus width you can see here and also the fsc width versus fsc height in both the condition i am showing here likewise you can just reverse these parameters like uh, fsc area versus fsc height you can use fsc height versus fsc area likewise you can use all three apart from this here you can see these are the cells that you can consider the doublets in your data likewise likewise you can also use the side scatter detector to discriminate the singlet and doublet similar condition i am showing the unsteam and steam area versus height area versus width and the width versus height and you can see the doublet cell here in this strategy you can also reverse the order of this now i am going to show you some reference paper that you can go through it and get some more information and i will also provide the link in the description so that you can visit the website to read the paper and i recommend you please go through the supplementary data because this type of information generally present in the supplementary figure so try to look the supplementary figures to know how they have separated their singlet and doublet in their experiment so you can see here is the paper and the fsc width and fsc height they are using to discriminate singlet and doublet you can see also here the ssc width and ssc height like this paper they are using the area width ssc area and ssc width so i just showing here but you can go through this paper and you can get some more information about how you can get the singlet and doublet cell discrimination very easily so i will provide the link for all these publications so that you can go through this and get the information about how you can discriminate the singlet and doublet so thank you for watching my video if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you